The Tesla Powerwall 3 and the SIG Energy SiGen Store are the two battery storage systems that we get asked about the most at Artisan Electrics. But the question on everyone's mind is, which one is best? That's why in this video, we're putting these two systems head to head, comparing all the pros and cons of each system, and make sure you watch to the end of the video to find out which we think is the best. So without further ado, let the battle commence. So one of the key features of every battery storage system is how much storage capacity does the system have? The Tesla Powerwall 3 has a capacity of 15 kilowatt hours, but only 13.5 kilowatt hours of that is usable. You can stack up to four main Tesla Powerwall 3 units in parallel. And then they have what's called the DC expansion pack, which is an additional battery that doesn't have the inverter and gubbins in it, which you can connect to a main Powerwall unit. You can connect up to three of those expansion packs to each main Powerwall unit for a total of 16 units or 216 kilowatt hours of battery storage capacity, which is pretty impressive. The SIG Energy side gen store system is slightly different because it's modular. Each of these particular units that we've installed here is 10 kilowatt hours, but it has 8.76 kilowatt hour usable. So this stack of six batteries has about 52.5 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. And you can parallel multiple units together into one system for an almost infinite amount of storage capacity. In fact, there are installations in different places around the world where they've installed thousands of kilowatt hours of these systems in one property. The SiGen store system does also come in smaller modules of six kilowatt hour, which gives you the option to be a bit more flexible and you can combine different modules of different sizes. Now, just to be clear, we're not slating either of these systems in this video. We love both systems. We fit a lot of Tesla Powerwalls and we fit a lot of SIG Energy systems. And the choice really depends on the individual needs of you as a customer. So if you're coming to us for a quote, we'll always weigh up the options. We'll take into consideration your own brand preferences, but ultimately we'll create a bespoke design that makes the most sense to fit your needs. Now let's talk about backup capability. Both systems, are able to power your house in the event of a grid outage. Tesla Powerwall has an emergency backup system via the gateway and it switches over within about 20 milliseconds during a power outage. That 20 milliseconds is enough to see the lights flicker and maybe for your Wi-Fi router to reset and things like that. So it's not instantaneous switch over, but it's pretty quick and the batteries can run your entire house unless you're using more power than the batteries are capable of outputting. So it's a good backup system. The Sage Energy system has an even better backup system. It's a zero latency backup. In other words, it's less than zero milliseconds, about 0 0.02 milliseconds, something like that, which means it switches over so quickly that you won't see the lights flicker. Electronic devices in general won't reset. It's technically not UPS, as in the kind of UPS that you would need to run like life-saving equipment in hospitals or critical systems in airports, but is good enough for most homes to enable you to run all of your electronics and not have them all trip out and reset. So I would say Sige Energy is the winner when it comes to backup power. What about solar integration? Well, both the Tesla Powerwall 3 and the SIG Energy system are what we call DC coupled systems. That means you can connect solar PV directly into the inverters and those will take that DC straight into your batteries. And then when the batteries are full, that will overflow as AC essentially in a very simplistic way of explaining it. The Tesla Powerwall 3 comes with three MPPTs and you can connect up to 20 kilowatt of solar panels to it. The Sige Energy system the single phase inverters go up to 12 kilowatt and you can oversize them by 100%, meaning that you could connect 24 kilowatts of solar panels to the 12 kilowatt inverter. However, the single phase inverters do only have two MPPTs, so you can only connect two strings of solar to the single phase inverters. The three phase inverters come with four MPPTs, up to 25 kilowatts of inverter capacity, meaning you can connect up to 50 kilowatt of solar PV to one of these inverters. And Sig Energy are talking about releasing a 30 kilowatt inverter soon to match with the new 8.9 kilowatt hour battery modules. 
Now the name SIG Energy is quite interesting because it begins with S and there's another word that begins with S too, it's subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it really does help. We'd love you to join our journey. We produce loads of cool content about renewable energy technology and real world installations. So we'd really appreciate it if you do get any value out of these videos if you'd hit the subscribe button. The Tesla Powerwall 3 has a maximum charge rate of five kilowatts when it's a single unit or eight kilowatts when you've got expansion packs with it and a maximum discharge rate of 11.04 kilowatts which is dependent on what your DNO says as to whether you're able to discharge that amount of power. You might have a maximum inverter size limit imposed depending on the local grid or an export limit imposed with a G100 limit and that is just to protect the local network. But the actual product itself, 11.04 kilowatt maximum discharge and eight kilowatt maximum charge rate. Whereas the Sige Energy system has a maximum charge rate of 12 kilowatt in single phase or 25 kilowatt in three phase and the discharge rate is the same. Now that does depend on how many battery modules you've got. Each battery module, for example, an eight kilowatt hour battery module has a half C charge and discharge rate so that means that you can charge it and discharge it at half of its capacity so an eight kilowatt hour module has a four kilowatt charge and discharge rate so if you stack three eight kilowatt hour modules you've got 12 kilowatts charge and discharge if you stack more than that in a single phase system you're going to be limited by the inverter 12 kilowatts but in a three phase inverter you can have that maximum charge and discharge rate of 25 kilowatt. So a lot more than the Tesla Powerwall 3. When it comes to EV charging capabilities, what are the differences? Well, the Sige Energy system comes with, or can come with, an, a DC EV charger that can charge your car and potentially discharge your car battery into your house when a vehicle to home is available at 12 kilowatt single phase or 25 kilowatt three phase so a very powerful DC EV charger unit and that integrates straight into the stack of batteries. The Tesla Powerwall system doesn't have any EV charging built into it but you can add a Tesla wall connector which is a 7 to 22 kilowatt uh, EV charger but it's an AC EV charger it's not bi-directional but it will enable you to charge your car at seven kilowatts if you're on a single phase system or 22 kilowatts if you're on a three phase system. And both of the systems have solar enabled charging integrated, obviously. So what they will do by the app is they'll direct any excess solar to charge your car if your car is plugged in and you want to do it that way. Now, when it comes to dimensions, there's a significant difference between the two systems. The Tesla Powerwall measures 1150 millimeters tall by 753 millimeters wide, about 150 millimeters deep. The Sige Energy system is a bit bulkier, but it depends on how many battery modules you fit. So for example, a full stack like this is about two meters high, just under by about 800 millimeters wide and about 250 millimeters deep. So if you're looking at purely space to kilowatt hour capacity, actually the Sige Energy system is much better because in a very similar footprint, maybe slightly bigger footprint, but not hugely bigger, you can fit a lot more battery capacity. Now in terms of weight, the Tesla Powerwall 3 weighs 130 kilos. The SIG Energy system, each of these 8.76 kilowatt hour battery modules weighs 78 kilos. So they are quite heavy. And if you have one big stack like this, that's a lot of weight, but it's all mounted on a solid base with a couple of wall brackets to hold it back. And because it's modular, you're actually only lifting a 78 kilo module each time rather than one big heavy slab of 130 kilos which I have moaned about before in previous videos that is quite bulky for two people to try and fit a Tesla Powerwall 3 safely. In terms of aesthetics which one do I prefer? Well I think they both look pretty good to be honest but they're a little bit different so the Tesla Powerwall 3 looks like a little bit like an ice cube I would say with that white glass front cover reminds me a little bit of the sort of apple ipod back in the day you know and it's quite a nice look i do think it looks smart the only thing about it is the sides being sort of bare metal it's debatable whether that is 
aesthetically pleasing or not, let me know what you think in the comments below. The Saige Energy System, I really like the look of too. The fact that it's got that nice casing all the way round, it's been designed with aesthetics in mind and I like the LED strip that goes all the way outside and you can choose the different colours, it really really does look smart and with the little screen on the front as well with the swirly light and you can see what the status is of the battery system, I think it looks really really smart. Which one do I prefer? I'd have to say the Saige Energy System if I was choosing something for my own property. When it comes to mounting options, the Tesla Powerwall 3 can be floor mounted or wall mounted. Now it always needs to be mounted to a wall, in, in other words fixed back to a wall, but the feet can go on the floor or you can lift it up and have it fairly high up on a wall if you want to. However, if you do that, you're not gonna be able to stack other units with it because that would be too heavy. The Saige Energy System is similar. You can have a wall mounting bracket for up to two battery modules, that's okay. But if you're going more than two battery modules, the weight is too much to wall mount only. So you're gonna have to use the ground mount plate, which has nice little rubber feet and enables the weight to be spread evenly between the wall and the floor. Now, what about the mobile app? Well, the Tesla app has always been renowned for being pretty good. You've got the visualization of the home and where the power is flowing in different directions, whether it be from your solar, into your battery, from the grid to your EV charger. All of that is mapped out on a nice visual of your home. But other than that, the Tesla app doesn't give you that much information. The Saige Energy app, however, is quite different. You do have the same home view, but you can also dig into so many levels of data about your system. You can even dip into the individual battery module monitoring and see the temperature of each section within each cell in your battery. It's incredible. And what I like about it is it gives you a really basic overview if you just want to keep things simple. But if you're the kind of person who likes to dive deep into the data of your system, you can do that. So I would say I prefer the Saige Energy app. But what about commissioning, I hear you ask? Well, commissioning is the bane of installers' lives. So the question is, where does Saige Energy and Tesla sit amongst the commissioning woes of installers? As you may have seen from our videos, we've always found the Saige Energy commissioning to be an absolute breeze. Now, it's not quite as quick as they promise in the app. It usually says it's like a 30 second commissioning or something. We find that maybe it takes two to three minutes, but that's still nothing compared to the time it takes to commission some systems. How about Tesla? Well, the Tesla commissioning process is a bit more faffy. It all has to be done through the Tesla One app and there's this whole job checkout thing that you have to do and it is a little bit faffy. The other thing that we found is it does get stuck sometimes and you end up having to call technical support. So it isn't the smoothest process for installers. That being said, there are worse systems out there, but we'd always allow at least an hour to maybe two hours for the commissioning and job checkout, which in my opinion is still far too long. Let me know if you're an installer and you found the same in the comments below. Now, how do they compare on price? Well, on a purely cost per kilowatt hour basis, it can be a little bit hard to tell because with the Tesla Powerwall 3, the base unit, the main unit, obviously it's got the inverter built in, it's a little bit more expensive, but when you add the expansion modules, that makes the cost per kilowatt hour quite a lot more reasonable. The SIG Energy system is a premium system, so it's not cheap bit like the Tesla Powerwall 3, but when you scale up to a large system like this, the installation costs don't change much. So whether you've got one module or six modules, most of the work is installing the inverter, connecting everything up, putting in the cabling, the gateway, etc. So actually, the bigger you go with these systems, the more cost effective it can be. And if you'd like a quote for either of the systems, there'll be a link below where you can get a quote from us for a precise system that meets your needs. So the ultimate question that you wanted to know the answer to is which one do we think is best? And that's a challenging question, to be honest, because both systems are great in different ways. But I think for me, the SIG Energy system does pip the post. It does take the crown because it's so flexible. It's got so many amazing features built into it. The app is fantastic. There are just so many little things about the SIG Energy system that I like that for me, 
it is the clear winner in this particular battle. But I'd love to know all your thoughts in the comments below. And if you'd like to find out more about either of these systems and get a quote for us, there'll be a link below. But either way, thanks for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, you'll love one of these videos that's gonna pop up here on the screen now.